Hi, welcome to Fit and Delicious. I'm Jamie Brinkus. You can have it all. Get up, fuel up, and live it up. Danny's gonna show you five easy, healthy snack boxes. I've got moves from Boulder Shoulders and tips from Jack LaLanne. Then Danny is back with the perfect fuel with baked pumpkin oatmeal. We finish up with my best leg shapers. Time to power up. Get up, fuel up, and live it up. You have the power to take health into your own hands, and you have the power to prevent disease and help your body discover what it means to feel your best. So celebrate yourself. You can do this. Make one better, healthier decision today, and then tomorrow, do it again. You're worthy. You deserve it. Get started with Healthy Snack Boxes with Chef Danny. Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I am sharing five very simple, very delicious snack pack ideas with you. Now, each of these is designed to be a very convenient, on-the-go snack, or it can also be a mini meal, depending on how you like to eat. So let's just jump right in. The first two are my sweet boxes, and then I'm gonna follow them up with some savory boxes. So let's get started with the breakfast box. So for this box, I love to whip up some of my homemade high protein pumpkin pancakes. You can of course use any type of pancake you like here, but guys, pancakes are a great on the go snack because they really are delicious, hot, cold, or at room temperature. So I start by stacking a few of those into my box. Then I add in some fresh berries. Today I'm using some beautiful raspberries. And I love spreading peanut butter on top of a pancake. It is so delicious, and plus it adds a little bit of extra fat and protein, which I find helps to keep mm. me full for a really long time. Peanut butter and jelly. Next up, I have my yogurt parfait box. Now this box is very fun, and it's especially kid-friendly, and I'm gonna show you why. So what I do is I start off with some organic, plain, Greek yogurt, and you could either do a 2% or a full fat, and then I like to top that with some pumpkin seeds and a few dashes of cinnamon. Then on the side, I have some chopped up strawberries, and in the back, I have a chopped up bar. But what I love is to either take the strawberries and the bar, put it right over the yogurt, and then just eat it like a big old sundae, or you take your little squares and you just dip them right in the yogurt. So it's kind of like a chip and dip, right? Then you've got the berry flavor from the bar. It's chewy, it's got a little crunch from the nut, and that creamy yogurt, it is mm, 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 mm. a match made in heaven. I am a big fan, and my kids love this box as well. Okay, so for box number three and FYI, three, four, and five are gonna be a little more savory. I've got my cheese and cracker box. It's a classic, right? So I start off with some carrots that I've peeled and cut into nice chunky strips, and then I add a couple bunches of green grapes and a few crackers in the back here. I like to use some type of nut and seed crackers, so there's a lot of texture in there. And then finally, I have a little bit of grass-fed cheddar cheese. It is the perfect snack box, in my opinion, because you have your fruit, your veggies, a little cheese, and a cracker. It's just a classic, and you cannot go wrong. Fast, easy, convenient, and delicious. Okay, box number four is what I like to call the party box. Now, it might not look like a party to you, but to me, anything with popcorn kind of signifies a party. So, we're going with party box. Okay, so for this one, what I start off with is some good old fashioned ants on a log. I love this combo. You just take some celery, spread in your favorite nut butter, and then top it with some raisins or any type of dry fruit that you enjoy. And then I cut up some fresh apples. This one's a honey crisp. I love a honey crisp apple. They are very popular these days. They're also pretty pricey, but I'd give them a try if you could find them. And then in the back, I've got my popcorn. For me, this combo kind of feels like a party in the box. I don't know, but it's one of my personal favorites, and I want you to give me a big thumbs up if you think this one's at the top of your list so far. And for our fifth and final box, this one is very simple and straightforward. It's a veggie 
and hummus box. I always say this about salad. I feel the same way about vegetables. I'm usually very willing to eat them. I'm just not always willing to prepare them. So having something like this on hand, ready to go, just makes it a whole lot more likely. And it really is delicious. So I start off with my favorite hummus, which changes with the day. Right now, I'm really enjoying this black bean hummus. And then I have those mini peppers that I've sliced into quarters on the side some marinated green olives, which I really find olives are so delicious and they really hold you over because they have a nice balance of protein and fat. And then over here, I just have some sliced up cucumbers. So what I like to do with this box is I'll just take my cucumbers and my peppers and just dip them right in the hummus, pop a couple olives, and you're ready to go. Delish. Mm. So now I'm so curious to hear from you guys. Of all those five boxes, which one do you think you will try first and why? And when you try these boxes, be sure you snap a picture and then tag me on Instagram and on Facebook. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees and I will see you back here next time. Cheers. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get sleek, sculpted, and defined shoulders, bolder shoulders. Now, notice when I pull my arms back, you can see how my shoulders are rounded. Aesthetically, it makes your waist look smaller. Well, here's a few exercise tips for great shapely shoulders. Get off your seat and get on your feet. All right, so I'm gonna come back and get some weights here. All right, first thing we're gonna do is what I call an Arnold press. So it's here, palms faced in, and then bring it up and then now, rotate the palms out. And this actually was an exercise uh, invented by Arnold Schwarzenegger, hence the name Arnold Presses. One more, and release. Other side, again, it's here, and rotate. That's it. Make sure that you have nice, soft elbow joints. You're not gonna jar and jam the joints. That's really bad for you, okay? Nice and easy, slow and controlled, and release. Now we do a lateral raise, knees bent, just bring it right out to the side. This is certainly one of those exercises that round the middle portion of your shoulder. I love lateral raises. Aesthetically, it makes your waist look smaller, okay? Other side, right there. Good, that's it. Nice and easy, keep your abdominals nice and tight as you do all these exercises. Keep certainly pressure off the lower back. And release. Now, we're gonna do a shrug. A shrug is right here. It works the trap muscles. That's it. I like to call these I don't know, so Hopefully you don't go around uh, this, uh, with this motion all day long, but uh, this is a great muscle for your upper back muscle right through here. That's it, guys. Now, we're gonna do a rear delt raise. So knees are bent, now bring it out to the side. Now you're bending over at 45 degrees. This works the posterior deltoid right there, back of your shoulder muscle. And release. Now we're gonna do, again, a front raise, so you can bring it to butt. Eye level, that's it. That's it, one at a time. You're not gonna go way to the ceiling, just about eye level. This works the front portion of your shoulder. Nice rounded shoulders, sculpted, defined. That's it, a couple more, and release. Now, this is an upright row, you're gonna bring it here, just bring the hands right underneath the chin. That's it. Nice and easy. Good. Slow, controlled movements. These are all working the shoulder muscles. That's it, guys. A couple more. Three, two, and one. Release. All right. Come with me. I'm going to get a couple other things that you can use for your shoulders. You can actually use a shirt or a towel. All right, today we're gonna to use the towel. Ah, you know what? Forget about it, I'm gonna use a shirt. Okay, now what I want you to do is an external rotation. You're gonna be here and just kinda of extend out. Keep your elbow at your hip. Now this works, again, rounds this portion of the shoulder out. That's it, nice and easy. Good, external rotation. Now from there, what you wanna do is then pull on the other side. Okay, so now you bring it in. That's it. There you go. Nice and easy. Couple more. Two, and release. Other side, so you're here, out, out. And again, you're creating the resistance by holding on to the shirt, okay? 
That's it. Nice and easy. And let's go to the other side. So it's in, in. Now this strengthens that shoulder muscle out. Okay, I know as we age, you start to get some achy shoulders. This will certainly help. And aesthetically, it really makes the shoulders look good. Sleek and defined. And release. Now from here, a lateral raise. Same as the weights that you can now do with a towel or a shirt. So bring it out and release. Out. And again, you're dictating the challenge and the resistance with the other hand. That's it. Nice and easy. And always keep your abdominals nice and tight. That's it. One more. And release. Okay, other side. You're here. Pull. Pull. It's just a little lift. That's it. Boy, again, you can really feel this. That's it. Hey, do these exercises two, three times a week, and you're going you're gonna to look fantastic. Nice and easy. And release. Now, a shoulder press. So you're here. Hold it right here, and then press up. Up. There you go. Nice and easy. Now, again, go slow. You don't have to do this quick, okay? So you're not jamming and jarring those joints. And again, especially as we age. You know, getting fit never gets old, does it? I love that line, guys. I just turned 60 years old, and I know this works, believe me. But you gotta be consistent. Consistency beats intensity any day of the week. Let's switch, here we go. Boom, that's it. There's another one we use. I will not let age change me. I will change the way I age. Boy, how true. We can control this, guys. To me, lifting weights is a fountain of youth, keeping your muscles tight. A couple more, and release. Now we want to do a front raise. So you're here, keep it right by your side, and then up, up. That's it, about eye level. There you go, nice and easy. Three, two, one more, and release. Other side, so you're holding it here, and again, lift up, up. And you're keeping your muscles taut and tight as you do this the whole time. There you go. Good. That's it. Nice and easy. And release. Now from there, I want to actually just do what we call some arm circles. So you're here. Just circle around. That's it. Again, after that type of resistance, your shoulders should be a little more fatigued not quite burning, but certainly fatigued. That's okay, now reverse that. That's it. Nice and easy. Boy, you can really feel these. And now, large circles. Front words first. There you go. Whew, I definitely can feel this. Other way, here we go, guys. That's it, nice and easy. Couple more. And now, one big vitality stretch right here. Get up. And release. Hey, you know, now we have a blast from our fitness past with Jack LaLanne and his shoulder exercises. Way to go, guys. Well done. Ready? Bend over a little more. Begin. One, two, three, four. 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 One. Come on, Clementine, get those arms out. One, two, three, four, and rest. One, two. Ho, oh, inhale. Exhale. Inhale again. Keep your knees together. Tight together, tight, tight, tight. Back flat, heels on the floor. Don't lean forward, stand up. Let's go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and down, and up, and rest. Now let's uh, do the opposite from this. Turn your toes out, spread your feet apart, Knees apart as far as you can get them, like this. Back flat, heels on the floor, ready, stand up. Up, tummy in, down, and up, and down. 
Hello, my friends. It's Danny, and today I am making the most delicious baked pumpkin oatmeal. Now, I know you all love oatmeal recipes, so I'm excited to share this one with you. It's an easy, healthy breakfast recipe that's both perfect for meal prep and family friendly. So I'm gonna start by preheating my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm gonna grease an eight by eight baking dish with a little bit of coconut oil. You could also do this with butter, you could do it with a cooking spray, anything you have on hand. You just wanna make sure that it's greased so that the oatmeal doesn't stick to the pan. Then into a medium bowl, I'm gonna start by combining all of my dry ingredients, starting with two cups of organic, old-fashioned rolled oats. Now, while oatmeal is not produce, in my mind, it goes on the dirty dozen, so it's one of those ingredients I always try to buy organic. Then I have one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, which is a combination of cinnamon, ginger, cloves, and nutmeg. This is the spice that makes all of your baked pumpkin goods taste like pumpkin, so you cannot skip this. I'll gently toss this all together, set it aside, and then I've got a nice big bowl to combine all of my wet ingredients, starting with one and a half cups of unsweetened almond milk, or literally any type of milk you prefer or and have on hand, one cup of canned pumpkin. Now make sure that you're buying pumpkin puree. It's easy to grab the pumpkin pie filling because sometimes it's right next to the pumpkin puree on the shelf, but the pumpkin pie filling has a lot of sugar and sweeteners and added flavors to it. So you wanna look for the pure puree. The only ingredient on the can should be pumpkin. Then I've got a quarter cup of egg whites. Now I like to buy my egg whites pre-separated. I use them very often, whether I'm making my egg white muffin cups or I'm making oatmeal. Nothing makes creamier, fluffier oatmeal than egg whites. But if you don't wanna buy them pre-separated, then you would use two egg whites. You can separate them yourself. Just save the yolks to add to other scrambled eggs or sub in one whole egg. So lots of options there. And of course, for all my vegan friends, this recipe would work just fine with a chia egg. Then one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of real maple syrup, just to sweeten things up and round out the flavors. And this is also where I like to add my stirrings. So I've got some raisins and some chopped pecans. But of course, any nut or dried fruit you had on hand would be delicious. My kids also love this oatmeal with chocolate chips. Gently mix that all together. Then I'm gonna take my dry ingredients, add that to the wet, mix again until you've got a batter that looks just like this. Transfer that into my baking dish, and this whole thing is going in the oven for 30 minutes or until your kitchen is fragrant and smells delicious and the oatmeal has set up and is nice and lightly golden brown over the top. Now, you are gonna love that you can eat this recipe hot, cold, or room temperature. It is delicious each and every way. If you choose to eat it hot out of the oven, it doesn't completely hold its shape. It might crumble a little bit, but it's absolutely delicious, more like a bowl of oatmeal. If you let it cool, like I like to do, I'll pop it in the fridge, then it's easy to just cut right into squares. You could almost eat it like a bar or serve it on a plate. My kids love it with a little drizzle of maple syrup over the top. I love it with a schmear of nut butter or maybe a little Greek yogurt. And of course, it's also delicious all on its own. So I'm so excited for you guys to give this recipe a try. When you do, please snap a picture, tag me on Instagram and on Facebook. And thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees and I will see you back here next time. Cheers. Hey, today I'm gonna to give you some moves to sculpt your lower body. Do these exercises at least three times during the week and I guarantee you're gonna get defined, sculpted lower body, guys. Okay, so what you wanna do is this. You got chair and small handheld weights and get ready to get sweaty. Here we go. First thing you wanna do is a deadlift, okay? Now, knees are slightly bent. Bring the weights here all the way down. Try to touch your feet and back up, okay? This is great for the hamstrings in those buns, that's right. You're gonna firm and tone the backside right there. That's it. A couple more. Now again, go at your own pace in these exercises, okay? One more. And release. Now, use the chair for some balance on this one, guys. What you wanna do is this, okay? Put one hand under the hamstring and you wanna do what I call a quadricep extension right there. Now you can feel this right through here, which is the front of the leg, your thigh, which is the quadricep. That's it. Nice and easy. Couple more. And 
release. Okay, let's go to the other side here. Now again, put one hand here and just bring it out. That's it. You can actually see the muscle being worked right as we do this. Nice and slow and controlled. Really gets the blood flowing to the working muscle. It's a good thing. And release. Now from there, we're going to do a side lunge. So you're here. Just bring it out to the side and release. Not too far. And still, my knee does not go past my toe. My knee is lined up with the toe. So again, no injuries, guys, okay? These are safe, effective, fun, most importantly, fast exercises. One more. And release. Okay, let's go to the other side. Nice and easy. It's a side lunge. Out. That's it. Good. There you go. Nice and easy, slow and controlled movements, okay? That's it. Two more. Two. And release. Now I'm going to do what I call a plie squat. So legs at a 45 degree angle right about here. All right now, so all you want to do is bring it down and then up, okay? You can use the chair as balance. That's okay. That's it. Now this accentuates the inner thigh right through here. There you go. Guys, you know, if it's important, you'll make no excuses to get in your exercise, okay? You'll make it happen. And believe me, you will see results if you do this. One more. And release. Okay, so now we're going to do what I call a butt lift, okay? So you're going to bring it back and then out. Back, out. So you're working the buns and the outer hips. There you go. Boom, right there. That's it. Nice and easy. One more. Out and then back, okay? So slow and controlled here. So again, you're bring it back, out, back. You're controlling the movement right here. I want you to really squeeze the muscles as you bring them out. That's it. Nice and slow, controlled. One more. And release. Okay, this is what I call a sumo squat, okay? So I want the legs past the shoulder width, okay, all the way out, and slowly bring it down. Boy, you can really feel these hamstrings, buns. If you want the chairs balanced, that's okay. Slow, nice and easy. That's it. Two more. And release. Okay, so now, hold on the chair. This is called an inner thigh sweep. So bring the left leg past the Midline of the body. This is now working the inner thigh. Right there. That's it. Boom. Perfect. Nice and easy. You can do this, guys. You're going to feel so much better. All these exercises are safe. They're effective. They're fun. Most importantly, they're fast. You can do this. Release. Okay, let's go to the other side. Just boom. Sweep past the midline of your body. That's it. Nice and controlled. That's it. Three, two, one more. And release. Okay, so now what I want you to do is you're going to bring one leg bent out like this, okay? So bring it out and then press back. So it's out, back. Boom. You've written the hips and the buns. There you go. Good. Right there. Nice and easy. One more. And back, okay? So nice and easy. Again, you bent leg, out, press. This works that dual movement, the hips and the buns. There you go. Good. That's it. Right there. Give me two more. One. And release. Okay? This time, what I want you to do is what I call a one-legged deadlift, okay? So it's here, my right leg. Again, try to touch the bottom of the toe and back up. This time it's just one leg. But really accentuates the hips, get that hip joint, and of course the bun area and the hamstrings. That's it. A couple more. And release, okay? Let's go to the other side here. That's it. Again, down like you're touching your toes and up. That's it. This is great movement for your hip joint. And four more. Four. 
you see the deep three, two, and release. Now we're on that side. This is a one-legged squat. So you're here. So all I want you to do is bring it down about four or five inches. Okay? This really accentuates the front of the thigh, the quadricep. You can really feel this. You don't have to go that deep on these, okay? That's it. Nice and easy. Hold it right there. A couple more. And good. Okay? Other side. Again, so all you want to do is just about four or five inches down. Down. There you go. Perfect. Not too deep, guys. Have to warn you on that. Don't go too deep on these. Make sure the knee's lined up with the toe. That's it. A couple more. Two and one. Now, this is a great one. The old squats. Again, you need a chair for balance. That's great. So all I want you to do is bring it down, slow, and then back up. Slow, knees lined up with the toes. It's like you're sitting in a seat, okay? That's all you're doing. But we'll have a surprise at the end, trust me. When we're gonna pulse at the end, and you can really feel these. The best leg shaper you can do is the squat, okay? And the nice thing about this, you don't have to do deep knee bends, okay? It's bad for your knees. This is great, it's functional. Give me about three more. Three, two, now one. Now hold it right there, hold it. Now pulse right there. Little short ones. Whew, those legs are burning, huh? Nice and easy, slow. Five, four, three, two, one, and done, you did it. My best leg shapers, well done guys. Are you ready to live it up with your new lean lifestyle? So what equipment do you need? Join us next time and learn how your fork and spoon are your best pieces of fitness equipment with Fit and Delicious. For videos, tips, and the eight day challenge, visit fitanddelicious.com. To become a Fit and Delicious member, where you'll find over 90 videos, tips, and inspiration, plus all 13 episodes of Fit and Delicious, go to fitanddelicious.com. This is episode 107.